Hold on your offering and we offer to God. Hold your offering. Let us all offer to God. Those that are offering through mobile money, you can see the code on your screens. Let us do it quickly. May God bless you as you do it. David said, no one has served the Lord and carry his arms on the head. Uh, while standing on our feet, it is of honor. It is of honor. It is of specialty. It is of honor to be together with the servant of God, Bishop Oliver. Bishop Olive. She's my sister, or we're the same age. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She's a great servant of God with the masses of God. She's anointed. She has the grace of God. Hallelujah. And that's why we are not going to remain the way we came. I want you to prepare your heart. Prepare your heart. Today I swear to you, you want to remain the way you came. So without taking further time, let us join our hands and welcome Bishop Oliver. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is not enough. Let's give her one more round of applause. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Bye. 
So many confirmations that shows this, that you are our God, Lord. We have so many confirmations. The parents have seen you. The men have seen you. The youth have seen you. The women, we have seen you, Lord. We have the affirmation. We have the signs. We saw you feeding our children. We saw you protecting our children. We saw you being great. We saw you, Lord. In our high school. We saw you. We have affirmation. We have affirmation. We have confirmation. The God of Israel. Our great God. Our great God. Lord, tonight, Lord. We want to see and believe. Not this evening. We want things to live. Every problem. Every challenge. We live. We receive your whole anointing. We receive the anointing. We receive the power of the anointing. The power of receiving. We are receiving. The special thing. Whatever I've not seen, I prophesy tonight. You who is here today, I prophesy for you. I enter you. I put you somewhere where people cannot put you. I am putting you somewhere in your greatness. I am calling every power. Every authority of God may it give you the blessing of the Lord. May it give you the blessing. May it give you the blessing. Lord King of God. Our oh, Lord King of God. You are above everything. Lord, we are here in the evening. Be with us, Lord. Come and be with us. And come and show yourself. Manifest yourself. Come and reign. Come and reign. Lord, Holy Spirit. We are here tonight. Lord, you have rivers outside. Everyone on the mountain. Those that are in the center. Let them come in here. Let them come. I am Mavota. Who are the Holy Spirit? We are sending the anointing. We are sending the anointing. We are sending the anointing to every part to come and find us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Give a round of applause to Jesus Christ. You may take your seat. Sit in the honor of God. May God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 As I'm still standing, I want to thank the pastor of this church and her husband. They have given us this apple. May the Lord give them the blessing. May the Lord bless them. We are standing in their honor. There is nothing special that we brought apart from supporting them in their calling. May God bless you. In the whole church committee and the deaconies of the church. If you are not here and your pastor cannot do everything, I want to thank you in May God bless you. I feel this evening things are special. There are unusual things happening. 
The servants of God those that we did not come with yesterday I am with the servant the apostle the anointed man I would like him to stand up whether he says hallelujah he introduces himself Aha, twese haleluya. Haleluya. Twese haleluya, haleluya. Haleluya. Gukira ni nona ha. To be rich is now. Kubohoka ni nona ha. To be relieved is now. Gutabarwa ni nona ha. To be rescued is now. Kwinzira mu masezerano ni nona ha. To end the process is now. Gukurwa hi mivumo ni nona ha. To be is now. Kuba turi kumwe hano. To be together with you now. Bishop. With our bishop, it is another extra power. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I love you. Ah. We love her. And we love you too. So after knowing that we are coming to this mountain, I am grateful to be part of you. My name's is called Mahoro Innocence. He is an apostle. He is known for director. Director. He is the grandfather of the professor. And we have more prophets. He fellowship from Kanombe. A church led by Nyamurangwa and Dodo. I am grateful to be with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's our great friend. So you see, we are all anointed. He's from Sepal Kanombe. But he is mine and I am his. Amen. Hallelujah. So we came with our intercessor. She's a lady. She's a great woman of God. Who have come yesterday. But she had a meeting of children at school. She's a great intercessor. She's an evangelist. The Lord has made her do great things in God bless you, Mama. I came with another oh. special woman. She's a woman. She used to give birth on one sex man. That is another limitation. And I stood up and cut it. Only two four children who are only boys. And I brought her. She's here. You know she's a mother to boys and girls. She's called Christine. Amen. 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 Her husband is abroad. If we have the grace and maybe he's here, he will be with us. Amen. Amen. She's a business lady. She goes to Turkey to Dubai. The Lord has done good to her. I am not lying. She came recently. They didn't have a car. They didn't have houses. Her husband that travels had to come. Uh, I took the oil and anointed them. Because the anointing. It is really the Lord. You are going to let them glorified. And the sign of what I did, the car that we came with it is hers, and the husband has her car. She has seen God so much. So she's here because of us. Amen. Hallelujah. She's an advisor, she's an intercessor, she's a worshiper. God bless you. Mama. She's a great worshiper as well. Amen. 
Those are the new people that you didn't see yesterday. Reverend Pastor. Reverend Pastor, and Pastor Jackie, and Pastor and the Apostle, and the Apostle, and the Apostle, and the Apostle, the Apostle, and the Apostle, and the Apostle, and the Apostle, the Apostle, the Apostle, and the Apostle, and the Apostle, the Apostle, the because in the evening he was following us online. He was writing to Pastor Jack and he was full of laughter. The things I'm telling you, I'm not making them up, it's true. Amen. Hallelujah. I welcome you all. If I wasn't with you yesterday, please raise up your hand. I want to introduce myself. If you don't see, you didn't see me yesterday, raise on your hand. Bizu. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Without lying. Who else gave you a kiss apart from me? I have honored you with my kiss, Bizuma. So we'll continue from where we stopped. So the scripture that you will be using in this whole week, it is in the book of John chapter 8, 32. It says, You will know the truth, and that the truth shall set you free. You shall know the truth, and after knowing that truth, you shall be set free. May God bless you. Let us get into the word of God and read. The moment you are worshiping, I feel like I want to be starting at the gate. And I wanted to call. I can call until the cars all stop. I am a Amen. 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 It is the book of uh, Joshua. Chapter 6. Joshua chapter 6 from 26. Joshua Aza pushim fraye, Niji haza terera inzu jiza marembo, Aza pushumere ziwe. Nuko uiteka, Nuko uiteka, Yabana ganesua, Kandar kandi arongera, Arojera, Bjama mamara, Mujugu cho se, Amen. Munye met konje du some. Let us read another scripture. The scripture that will be basing on. It is in the book of John. When I talk about John, I, I cannot finish talking about John because we have from the book that we, start, we are going to start with. The first letter of John. The second letter of John. The third letter. I don't have time to tell who he was sent the letters to and the reason of his writing. And he wrote another book called Revelation. Those are five books that he wrote. 
So this good news that we are going to read from. So for you to open where we are going to read. It is a good gospel that was written by John. You have to have three keys. Those are the miracles, the signs, and believing. And those that I've said are written in the same scripture. In the uh, chapter of 31, from 30 you will see whatever I've talked about. These have been written so that when you believe, you will have an everlasting life. It has words. The lands are 886. And those are the words that are in the ground. The word by word. It is a 1,900. It has 20. 21 chapters. So we are going to read the chapter 8. It is the first chapter that John wrote. He's revering Christ in his Christmas. The second chapter. He's showing Christ uh, changing water into wine. To the chapter 21. That is how John kept on seeing Jesus. In third, he saw the Nicodem. The fourth chapter, he met the Samaritan lady. On the fifth, on the fifth he met the man on the wall that had been six and eight years. On the six up to nine, where he brought back at the sight of a man that had lost his sight. This is how John saw Christ. In chapter 8 now, 32, that is what we are going to base on. Let us read in the name of Jesus. And you, Amen. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Amen. 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 Are we together? There are three truths that I want you to know this evening. The first truth it is the one that has made you sit here. The first truth that Christ is God that he, he redeemed us because he died for us. The first truth, he chose his God and his creation and his power and his greatness. That the first truth is where we are redeemed. That's where we are redeemed. That's where we are revealed. From. It is the truthness of God. You cannot say that God is not existing. So that's the truth in His goodness, in His power, in His Hallelujah. That is where your salvation that you have that belongs to. That truth is Christ. That first truth is Christ. That is the first truth. That is not being misused, it is not limited. You cannot say no to it. That is the first truth. So the second truth. It is the truth that you know about yourself. I know you. You know you smoke and drink. You know there are things you didn't say. You know you know. There are things you know about yourself. So those things that you know about yourself. And those things that you know in secret. You know them clearly. You know you have four children. When I say you have two, we'll go to the courts. <laughs> and that's your truth. There is another third truth. The third truth. The truth that you don't know. That is the truth that I'm going to talk Hallelujah. about. Hallelujah. So this truth. 
It is very strong. Before I said this truth, let me uh, excuse myself. You know, receiving Christ as your king and savior. The first thing you said from the entire death that because of the sin we committed. After receiving Christ, this word of receiving him, it has a full package of your entire life. And then you continue to uh, clean yourself so that you may get there. But, it does not to stop from uh, you from receiving him when you're poor. You're going to heaven when you're poor. If you go to heaven and you're poor, God does not care about you. As long as you're in heaven in peace. For him he gave Christ. So that whoever believes in him shall be God. Instead will receive an internal life. That is where salvation it is for free. Through you breathing him, you do not get saved because you believe. You are saved because of the mercy that is in believing. Salvation, it is the mercy through trusting God and the sacrifice of Calvary. I am coming, please listen to me clearly. So when we said the good gospel, that you're going to be preached yes, Jesus is coming. What are they talking about? The good gospel. There are five things in it. The birth of Christ. His living. His death. His resurrection. And his coming back. Those are the five things that we find the good news that is going to make the whole world. Jesus is coming back. This man is great. Are oh, we going to talk about you for five years? Things will be finished. But for him, he's talked about. Even not in this generation. Even in the later days. And no right How many of us today? Apart from that, the whole Bible, from the uh, beginning, from the Genesis, it is talking about Jesus. The great man scientific. that was so scientific. He was a philosophic man. He was a great man. He wrote to America. the University of Harvard in the US. And he said, I'm going to write this to help you. So the news about Jesus, if you don't believe who is not accepting, but it is like a glass. It's like a broken glass. It has remains. So those pieces that are broken. Maybe one piece is in massacre somewhere, somewhere. So when you do research. You might find the piece that is in massacre in Canada and connect to them again. It remains. So those pieces that are broken, maybe one piece is in massacre somewhere, somewhere. So when you do research, you might find the piece that is in massacre and connect them again. And they are going to, call, to be called the piece about Jesus. Only. And that's why. So they say him in different ways. The reason, the reason Matthew, for example, when Matthew was writing about him, him, he called him a king. Luke showed him as a servant. The Roman is called him something else. John showed him as another man. 
And the Bible has a different clarification as they kept on showing him. But when you join the old story, it becomes a whole Bible. And this is the Bible. Whatever is being said from the beginning up to the revelation. What am I saying the third truth now? Why is this truth? That I should know it. If I say it. If you go to heaven and you're poor. It is not a problem of Christ. As long as we're in heaven. If you go to heaven and you're not married. That is okay with God as long as you're in heaven. Do not stress yourself. But I'm coming to teach you things of nowadays. You know nowadays. A man called Razarius, he was a very poor man that is very righteous. He was full of reproach. I'm talking about the Razar that never resurrected. He only used to eat the remains of the food from the table. The table of the rich. But he was a righteous man. He never said, let me go from something to happen and develop. No, he would only pick the remains of the food. And eat the remains from the table. And then he died at some point. He went to heaven. Instead of him getting to heaven, in Hebrews the Bible says, all of them are not yet cleared yet. They are still waiting. We assume they are somewhere beautiful waiting. So when he died, he went to the chest of Abraham. Because he did not do anything when he was still alive, so he did not have his presence in heaven. When you follow the story, oh, he's in heaven where they say he did have somewhere to sleep. Because he did not do anything at the when he was still alive, that would help him. But he was a righteous man. No, no. He was sleeping in the earth. He didn't have a plot in heaven. So when you are giving offerings, when you are blessing the servant of God, when you are helping the poor, when you are visiting the sick, when you are cleaning the church, we are having Amen. a plot in Amen. heaven. You may not have a plot in no the city, and you don't have it in the city. Hallelujah! 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 So, Lazarus, he was poor. His poverty found him in heaven. Until the rich man who was, was eating from the table, he died there also. You know this rich man. He got to somewhere he deserved. He told Abraham. He told Abraham. Tell this poor man in Lazarus to bring water to me. So this rich man, even in the tunnel, he was still bossing. And the Azarias as well. He remained with the poor vet and he didn't have a place to sleep. He slept in the chest of Abraham. As I'm teaching you this, I am not uh, uh, questioning about your salvation. What I'm telling you, it is good to have a salvation that it has Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When it's not like that, 
A very true Christian, you should have two pillars that you can hold. The Holy Spirit of the pocket. And you should have money on your pocket as well. So when you don't have those two pillars, you are like this. They tell you we are going to buy my. The machines at Baho. And this is how you're working. You know, I don't have fun at home as well. We're going to buy the uniforms for worship team. You said, Lord, I have nothing, you know that. So by then you don't have the two pillars. Even one pillar is not enough. I want you to understand the teachings about our past here. We are going to, to give uh, thanks okay. to someone who gave birth. You only give 2,000 and you are so complaining. No, God, do it. I would have given more, but I don't. I would have given more, but I don't. You know, the poor is complaining, complaining. And they don't have value in her, in, on earth apart from heaven. Should I give you an example? It is this time for wedding that I invite you by word of mouth and I never give you an invitation. But if you are rich, they do a letter. They put an invitation card and send you. No, when you come to fellowship, actually that man bosses. They didn't invite me. So do you want to be invited? What will you give? About you from being stubborn. Do you want to be invited and what are you going to give? Well, if you get something to wear, you say thanks to God. You find people in church, it's hard. They said we are going with our You are full of sorrow and pain. Pastor. My home is so broken. I am ranting. Do you have a family? You have not the doc document of the land. Are you something? Pastor, they are talking about me. People visited me and they didn't have nothing to give them all. When you ask the poor, what should we pray for? When you ask about the rich, what should we pray for? They say, let's pray for the people. I want to see Christ. He has the legal document of the land. He's no longer in the land road style. When this rich person is praying, say, Lord, we thank you. You protected my cars, my children. And for their saying, pay school fees, you don't have it. Sometimes people hear the truth and they say. So they pray with someone that has to be and someone that don't have. Would these be prayers be prayed the same way? Because I am God, I don't know this. But a person that slept empty in the same way. And this person that had a very high standard would have the same prayer for sure. You say, Lord, thank you for this table. You said you prepared for me a table in the front of my enemies. What is the Lord? Give me rubbish. Okay, don't give me meat. Those prayers will make you rich. I am giving you this. Yes. 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 Yes.
We are done. Let's give a round of applause to Jesus. Hanyuma kuagatandatu on Saturday. Muzaza na ba na bote. Bring all the children. Aba na bose kuagatandatu on Saturday. The pastor said you bring your children. So that you may remove whatever has been put. Everything matches with the sacrifices they have given. Remember that. Or bring them and the Lord will tell us what to do. Yego. Sometimes the sacrifice is accepted or no. So bring them. We'll start a bit early before the normal service. And then pray and sleep upon them and pray for them. My children at church, we pray for them until the end of them. If you don't want to see your children, the witches will look at them and they will use the star of your children. Even going to school, you have to care about their star before they get to school. If you don't do that, the witches will do it. You pay your school fees, but they're not studying. Thank you. Amen. I reached a point and I, I reached a point where I had to even get the loans from the bank, from MTN, from all cash. In the, in the neighborhood, you have debts. Back in your school, you have debts. Why your children go for school and you have a debt? That's why not marrying, I don't have a job. You started on a, on a, a, on a, on a on By God's grace, you graduated. You also on the on the on the shores. You don't have job. You see the tenders. You see the tenders, but you cannot apply. You have problems. And you're a Christian, very good one. And said, tell God, God, you know I the time. Even knows. I reached the point where I used to hold my phone, it breaks into pieces. Maybe I'm on it, I have a, a new phone, maybe it's a phone 4. It breaks into pieces. When I'm trying to remove the password, I just feel the screen is broke. If they don't steal it, it's if it does not break, they steal it. Pop. They steal it. <laughs> they have taken my phone. <laughs> that... Where is it? Because of the limitation that was put on your life. Meaning that you are not allowed for it as well. In your family, how many people have possessed phones? You want to have an iPhone, Android, they will steal it and break it. Your mother has never had an Android phone. How dare you say you're going to have an Android phone? Your limitation from the village will say, no, keep on your normal phone. The cheapest. And if you try to buy it, the poverty will knock and you sell it off. Because you are not supposed to live with the offering. This village of yours says you never have a phone with you. So remember those ones. You have not seen the things that happened. And yes, you go to heaven. The heavens of God are open. 
God knows the reason why. The fun comes from the above up to the down. Reverend Alan, he gave me the most beautiful phone I've ever had. It was a nice blackberry phone. It was very big. One time it came from above. He didn't break. The devil said, I'm going to show you next time. So another time it came from my hands. It came up to the ground and it broke into pieces. And the husband had the same. His was stolen while standing. He was in the 2000 supermarket. He saw two people coming. You know, my husband is a very nice guy. He's like my son. He didn't go to school. Everything was very nice for him. You know, they talked to him, trying to obstruct him. The man behind, they pulled it and took it. I'm not going to talk about my husband who said by himself. Let me come back to this. So I came to understand that it is a limitation from the beginning. I had had a phone that was not matching with that time. The singer. The singer, I prayed and the prayed. Singer, I prayed and prayed. Singer, I prayed and prayed. Singer, I broke every altar. I broke the spiritual sorcerers. Every demon. I broke every chain. So this one that I have. The iPhone Pro Max 13. This is iPhone Pro. But <laughs> Bishop, there is another phone that is better than that. I said no. I said no, I don't want it in the name of Jesus. You want a job in the other city? He can also give you for 5,000. After getting it, I gave myself an advice. So the demons don't have a whole day. And the demons are not at peace, at rest. I took it at my church on the altar. I put it down somewhere. I prayed for it. I beat every demon, every sorcerer. I chain everyone fighting against my communication. Everyone fighting against my network. I have it for some days now. You. There is a truth that has happened. But the things you don't know that are happening to you. A gentleman comes, things are not working. When he goes, he said, let him go. Where is he going for sure? Joshua stood. Joshua stood. In other words, in Jericho, its limitation had already been built and it was somewhere. Those who are not present yesterday, the Reverend talked about the limitation and the principles. There is a limitation and, and the law. And the limitation, it is only one person that will take something from its position, no one will do it again. So Joshua, the limitation was already put there, supposed to be distracted. And distracted the whole village, it was put down. Joshua stood up. In his power that he was given by God. That is a man of God. So listen to this man that's Tell your parents, your father. 
regret. They were not praying. And he said, A person that took a fall down and will build this village. May he be cast in the business of God. If he break the walls of Jericho, let him he lose his firstborn. If he dare and break these walls, and even put the gates, may he lose his second bone. In other words, the limitation of Jericho. It was, not, it was not supposed to be built again. Sometimes you are with a man and his limitation from the father. He does not allow the land he has married. You might just rise up and down. Before you guys are married, there is a limitation that has been put. We don't want to marry this originality. We only marry this kind of people from this you go mixing up things. There is a limitation. Your village has put on your life. That you will never build a house. And even when you build it, they put it down. And they don't know. And they say, they say, oh, the government says, so this is a plot for the road. This is going to be a public road. If it does not go like that, you don't have the legal documents. They are in the bank. Isn't this your house? It is for the bank. Even if you are living in it, you are writing for the bank. Because of the limitations. Joshua said it. I am always amazed by people. They say. My parents died a long time ago. I don't know. Does that, that bring food on a table? No, it does not work like that. Because these things are about generation and generation. Yes. Shall I give you an example? My when I was giving the birth to my first child, I almost died. I gave that testimony yesterday in Dozen. I pushed and I went home. But the Lord had said, you have death spirit on your life. And I broke it. And I knew it really. How did you know that? Do you want to know the story? I am not boosting myself. But I want to help you to hear yours. If you have a generational spirit without this life, it's actually possible. It is not connected. The room of my children is white. Tans. All the beds were white. The paintings were white. The bed sheets were white. Everything was white. I entered in this room because I am a big person. I am even thinking about the insect that is in that room. Do these insects come because of something or something? So I realized in the room that I will sleep. There is an aunt. There is an aunt that has developed itself. And the whole room is white with with tails. It is me who prepared the room. It is who prepared the room and closed it. Nobody entered this room. Or to be surprised, I found a very big aunt of soils. After that, on the bed of my baby, I found the same aunt of soil. 
And I prayed and kneeled down there. Lord, help me, what does this mean? And the Lord told me, that is your death and your child. I had not known the reason why these things are happening. I kept on praying and praying. Let me give birth now. I went home. I gave birth the first day and then I went home. I got home and found flowers. The gifts. All the women went home. Those that are doing breakfast, lunch. They said, no, eat. I said, no, it's not easy for me to eat. After seven days of my giving birth, I don't know whatever that swiped me off. I don't know what it is. But I went to the hospital and I was hospitalized for the whole month. Let me tell you what happened. So my grandmother on the paternal side we don't know her. When she was giving birth to my father she died immediately. It is so many years that have passed. It kept on repeating on generations. So in the same spirit he said probably in this generation there is one woman that will always die when she's giving to a son. And that's why this limitation we have to break it and cut it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm also almost dying when I was giving birth to a son. My grandmom died when she was giving birth to my dad. Hundred years back. And I was a very good Christian. That's when, when you die, we said the Lord has taken the bride. You go. The accident happened to you. Yeshua. So Joshua he stood up and he said the words I'm going to die to be finished and we pray allow me to the later days if you know I, if you think I'm lying please find a different version it was after 408 years and this curse was waiting. This curse. The curse that Joshua had put. It is waiting for someone. Joshua died. We had other judges. They never broke this curse. They don't know this truth. Imagine 408 years. 408 years. This curse was rotating around. It was rotating around. Who is going to marry and you're not allowed for it? Who is going to do business and I swipe him off? It is just searching who to take. It is waiting on you. It is waiting on you. Do you think you will be still alive in 408 years? You are saying maybe this woman is mad at some point. Let us read the first king, 16. Verse 37. First thing, king. First king, chapter 16, verse, verse 34. Verse 34. 
umurongo muta turakane kate ushiraka ibyo bakubwira byanditswe inshuro nyinshi mu mbabarire mwahageze ayu zea they can saw me kungo moya hab here we better yubakiye ariko igiye yubakaga igiye yubakaga urufatiro apfusha umwana w'imfura witwaga abiram ashinze ibikingi byamarengo apfusha umerereziwe witwaga segubu umva ikitwa reference bagiye kuduha sasa niba wabyi bagiye byo maze kuvuga umva umva reference ku ngo tugiye kuba the difference now nkuko witeka yari yarabavuze abivugiye mu kanwa kayaswa mwana nde Why did this son die? He died because of the limitation that was in that hundred years. A curse or generational spirit. It does not care if you've been a good person. It does not care if you're straight. What it only fears it is knowing the truth that the Lord talked about. Jesus Christ is the only man that announced the deliverance. The to be revealed, what does that mean? The only person that we enter into and with that we celebrate and we become new and we break every chain and we break every chain it is in him Alpha and Omega Hallelujah He is the only man that announces the reference what is the truth of things that happen to you that you don't know? What is that truth? What happened? The things that you see I'm going to pray. I think you already understand it. Mm. Sometimes you lose your child and think it's normal. This man lost his firstborn. Sometimes in the spiritual world will cover you. You always lose your first job. The first house you lose it. You are not allowed to touch anything fast in your hands. This man has watched his son. We need to know the news. So this truth, do not despise it. When I'm, yes, I said that before I live somewhere, the first time I got to live somewhere, I have to know everything about that place. The, I have to know the sector, the village, the south, and everything that has happened to that mountain. I, I, to live I have to know the altars that were there before I come there. Nichi. Yesterday we repented. We are now going to pray. Have you heard anything? That's why you lie to yourself. Oh, God has given marriage and you do miscarriage on the first child. If you think of yourself, when was that? Was your uncle saved? Can I tell you one more thing? 
You know why I blessed? And our government has re removed everything related to racism. But of course, we have our clans uh, that we come from. Yeah. So when I was still in that, uh, People from the clan of our singer. People from a clan of our singer. You know, a Nigo has. Uh, do you think a Nigo can have the Nigo talking of the house? The singer who are present today will always be on the sky. You go to Masaka, you are chest there. You go to Ramagana, you shift again. Because what you believed in is just the egos and they're always flying. The, the people from Abaziga. Jumping, it cannot symbol. For them, they are like cheaters. Because their plans are always like, I will do this, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do that. And cheaters are sometimes stronger than the lion. But when you are a cheat of the king, you can't do anything when sitting. But this with a cheater, if I go to this place, when I send this place off, I'll get some money. You will have plans that will never be put in place. Because the time we have received it, the Lord gave us the power to rule everything of this world. And then we refused the power that the Lord gave us. We created our own. We are, we are adding ourselves to this only clan that we created ourselves. You are like, ego, come and lead me. You don't have any legal document of the land. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Please may stand up on your feet. Are you coming tomorrow or? I don't know how it's going to be tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm going to talk about the curse that has entered even into our land and the grasses and it has blocked all the source of wells. If we pray right now, we're going to probably leave some of the residues. I want to teach you how a last We're going to talk about it tomorrow. Let us pray to God. People that are seated on this side. Yes, Jesus love you. You, you are blessed. I feel. Your, your, your backgrounds are generational. There are changing. Hallelujah. People seated in this line. Tomorrow you are God loves you so much. You are going to have visions and wonder about them. People that are seated in the middle. You are going to be Hallelujah. the sponsors of this Hallelujah. work of the Lord. You've lost your clan somewhere. Yeah.
Tomorrow, my life to you. Back at church, if someone is being prophesied for you, I say amen, amen, and receive it. You will go up. Hallelujah. Let us pray. The pastor, I don't want to go beyond the time that I was given. Amen. Amen. Are you understanding this truth? The, this man that cast was a man of God. Some of us were born from families that were not even praying. Tomorrow we are calling the blood of Jesus to come and delete the blood that you have. The only man that would remove this limitation and just add good. It takes a man that has. Raise up on your hand and we pray. Yes, that's Bruce telling there is something here. Raise on your hands. Say with the loud voice, Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Come and serve me. I've known the truth. Things that I didn't know. Come and have mercy on me. Dashe. I am here, Lord. Say, Lord. I give myself to you. I give myself to you. Come and enable me. To be here. The whole week. I am ready. I am receiving. To be revealed. Raise your hands and we pray. Raise and I pray for you. There is a land document. Calling into the blood of Jesus. There is my mother. My children. Somebody I'm getting up. The world is clean. There is God God calls you. Just seven it by all also. He calls them. Just seven it to my all also.
in the same anointing let us pray for the kids that were brought to church do we have children here bring those babies and we pray for them listen everything Amen. The Jesus. Sometimes we even check the names. We talk about the date of your birth. The date of your birth. And see the parents that were giving birth. You already have a generational name. We are going to pray for the children. Yes. Amafuta as an obuchile as an ichuba hero. The anointing brings glory, brings richness. Bibi Kabango, Uburet Kabago, Cheshaga, every slave, it is going to finish by grateful. Uburet Kabago, Cheshaga, Devan. Somebody 
Send <laughs> Chiron that it casts her no naha. But I got a but I got a but I got a but Leadership Murazo Gusiba Mavota Nagavana Mavos, who was seized Ganaga Caraba, did Johnny Hamidia Mavot. Well, I'm going to a seizure, Gohana, Amavota, Yena Gobasako, Nagom Horse. Umuka <laughs> Wavoti <laughs> Waje gukura igisebo ku babyeyi bawe Waje uri igisubizo Izi narya Yesu Isi yo mwijima neza gukoresha Uzabikirangirire Amen Wahindu y'isi narya babyeyi bawe Wabahindu y'isi cy'ubuzima Amavuta ya Yaba was a Jaravajan, Papa wa jira kumi nui arushe, wena kumi saba. Mundo kuli chilehano kudia ngoto jende na mungu kumi. Munda gusenge mizi na jesu. Mizi na rifito utkwa. Muka ibiwa ni watabo ni. Mizi na jesu. Wewe biza kubeho. Yes.
Papa wawe no mugaba witonda cyane Iso yitonda mu byakora Kiriye kuba ariko nabagenda renga nwa agenda rikanwa tugutandukanije na Umuko kuri ganwa ndabutagata Chena izina rya Yesu Get out in Jesus name Bakakuri Baka kuri ganya manota ukarega mugenge Ibyo ntibizongere kubaho kunzina Mafuta Natura in Jesus' name. Yes. 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 Usano usana ho baguha hamuye ukoreshwa ibyagahato mwizina rya Yesu mwizina rya Yesu umwuka wa viol ndawirukanye ko bakina na Yesu turawufumye kuri uyu mwana umwuka ukunaniza mwizina rya Yesu nugira ngo gufatira ibyemezo mwizina rya Yesu umwuka wa byabirukanga gaho mwizina rya Yesu asama ibyura koze kubyo bikoze Shatara, <laughs> We are done. Let's give a round of applause to Jesus. On Saturday, bring all the children. On Saturday, the pastor said you bring your children so that you may remove whatever has been put everything matches with the sacrifices they have given remember that or bring them and the Lord will tell us what to do Diego yeah Sometimes the sacrifice is accepted or no. So bring them. We'll start a bit early before the normal service. And then pray and sleep upon them and pray for them. My children at church, we pray for them until the end of them. If you don't want to see your children, the witches will look at them and they will use the star of your children. 
even going to school, you have to care about their staff before they get to school. If you don't do that, the witches will do it. You pay your school fees by their own study. Thank you. Amen. Thank you.